Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points. It's Friday, happy Friday, so it is weigh-in day. This week's weigh-in is going to be just a little bit different. When you're seeing this video, I am actually out of town. We decided to go out of town for the weekend with some friends just to get away and get out of the really, really snowy cold weather that we have here where I live. And so we are away for the weekend. Because my weigh-in video is pre-filmed, the WW workshop topic was not updated online for me. So we're gonna chat about something else related to WW actually something I get just a ton of questions on. We're going to deep dive into that this week instead of recapping the workshop topic. I'm also going to share with you how my week went and of course the second weigh in for 2022. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I'd love to have you here. I do upload five days a week, so make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you wanna talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there, we'd love to have you. So let's jump into my week, my weigh-in, and a fun little discussion about WW versus calories. So first I want to catch you guys up on my week. I actually had an amazing, amazing week. A little bit of a busy week, just gearing up to go out of town this weekend. Some friends invited us out of town and we decided to take them up on it. Again, just to kind of get out of the snow and just get away because we haven't been able to go out of town really since we went to Leavenworth for our anniversary. And then prior to that, I can't even begin to tell you the last time that we went out of town. And one of my goals for 2022 was to get out a little bit more, travel a little bit more. So we took our friends up on their invitation and we are currently, as you're watching this video, I'm sure absolutely enjoying ourselves. My food was fantastic. My movement this week was fantastic. And I'm happy to report that I drank a gallon of water every single day this last week. I didn't miss a single day, which is a huge, huge success. I really notice a difference when I get in my water, my hair, my skin, my hydration overall, I just feel a big difference. It also helps curtail my hunger a little bit, so I'm not so hungry and snacky throughout the day. So I would give my week a 10 out of 10. So because this week's workshop topic wasn't updated on the Weight Watchers website, I did a little digging around the website and I found an article or a feature on the website that I found to be quite interesting. And this is personal points versus calorie counting. I know a lot of my subscribers, a lot of people in my Facebook group have switched over to counting calories instead of doing WW. You guys know I count calories before I count points. Those are my number one goals every single day. So I thought it would be interesting to chat a little bit about the difference between personal points and counting calories. We know that calories in versus calories out is how you lose weight, but every calorie isn't created equally. And that's what the foundation of personal points is built around. Personal Personal points takes into account several factors when figuring out the points value, not just the calories. And if you're someone that only strictly counts calories and doesn't concern yourself with macros, you really can enter a little bit of a slippery slope in eating foods that maybe don't fill your body or maybe aren't conducive to weight loss just because you have the calories for them every single day. The foods that we eat actually impact our body several different ways. Calories tell a little bit of the story, but certainly not the entire story. 100 calories of candy is very different than 100 calories of something high protein like turkey, chicken, cheeses, or tofu. When you're only calorie counting and not really looking at the nutrient value or the macros of the foods, that's when you can again enter that little bit of a slippery slope. So personal points actually takes not only the calories into account, but a lot of the other macronutrients, including protein, fats, fiber, and of course sugar. As you've probably noticed on personal points, there are several things that can be the same amount of calories, but vary quite drastically in points. I'm going to pop up an image from the WW website here showing this exact point, that all of three of these foods have the same number of calories in them, but look at the variation in points. This is because of the nutrient profile of the foods. So although calories in, calories out is how we lose weight, a calorie should be a good calorie, not just necessarily 
necessarily an empty calorie. Like I mentioned, WW Personal Points takes, cal takes calories into consideration, but they also want us to be able to enjoy the foods that we really like. And that's where that personal assessment comes into play, where we can actually select the foods that we like, the foods that we eat most often, and those foods can either be zero points or lower pointed for us. The personal point system also really looks again at the complex nutritional information of the foods, and that is a piece of how the points are determined. So I'm going to pop in another photo here from the website showing pasta differences. So on one side is just traditional white pasta, and on the other side is a whole wheat pasta. Taking into account all of the pieces of the WW personal points equation, you can see that the traditional white pasta is one point more than the whole wheat pasta because the whole wheat pasta packs more vitamins, nutrients, minerals, and fiber than your traditional white pasta. So the points are automatically lower. Not to mention the traditional pasta and the whole grain pasta have the same amount of calories, but their nutritional makeup is so much different. And like calorie counting on WW Personal Points, we get to choose how we spend our daily budget. We are given daily points. We are able to earn additional daily points by drinking our water and eating our vegetables. And then we also receive weekly points and we can earn additional weekly points by moving our body. So the program is very well-rounded. It covers all of the facets to living a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy, good for you foods, and of course, losing weight. Just like if you're tracking calories in the Lose It app or MyFitnessPal, you definitely want to take advantage of the WW app and track your food there. So you can keep track of your daily points budget, your weekly points budget, and you can even manually add up all of the foods that you're eating daily to come up with your total calories. My recommendation, if you are concerned about your caloric intake, which is an issue for a lot of people, so I would recommend at least looking into this. I would recommend tracking in a calorie tracking app like Lose It or My Fitness Pal, and then comparing points versus calories to make sure that you're eating enough every day. We want to be in a calorie deficit, but we don't want to be in such a severe deficit that number one, we're so hungry that we don't necessarily make the best food choices. And number two, we don't want to have metabolic adaptation where our metabolism will slow and we will struggle to lose weight and we will absolutely struggle to maintain our weight. So what's my thought on WW? personal points versus calories. They're both great tools. You have to decide which tool will work best for you. Which tool is going to offer you sustainability, which tool are you going to consistently utilize, and which tool do you see the most success on? It's not a one-size-fits-all. You have to compare WW personal points and calories and decide which one works best for you. But I wanted to share this with you because I do get this question a lot about points versus calories and why I make sure that I track calories as well. And this kind of sums it up a little bit and also explains the difference between personal points and calories. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about personal points versus calories, or if there's anything that you've noticed that you could share with the community when it comes to personal points and calories, definitely leave that down in the comments. So now let's jump in to this week's weigh-in. It is the second weigh-in of 20. 22, I have lost over a pound consistently for the last four or five weeks. And this week, my friends, is no different. When I stepped on the scale, I'm down another 1.4. Pound. I'm very, very happy with this. Consistently losing a pound and a half to two pounds a week is really what is considered a healthy amount of weight loss. And I'm consistently doing that. The foods that I'm eating, the food choices that I'm making are playing a huge, huge impact in that. Stay tuned next Sunday for a Q&A video where I'm answering all of your questions about my health, the foods that I'm eating, why I'm eating these certain foods, and just your overall questions about healthy eating, WW, and calorie counting. So stay tuned as I will post that video next Sunday. I'm thrilled with my weight loss. I'm thrilled with how 2022 is going. I'm moving closer and closer and closer to all of my goals, which makes my heart so incredibly happy. Now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week. Did you gain? Did you lose? What are your thoughts on calories versus personal points? And of course, let me know how much weight you lost this week. I love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. And of course, check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come on over, join us in my Facebook group. It's a great community and we'd love to have you.